Hi, I'm a Bullis student tutor, and in this video I'm going to be talking about check digit schemes and their relationship to modular arithmetic. So in a previous video we said that modular arithmetic is the process of representing all the numbers using a very finite set of numbers. So if I want to represent all the numbers modulo n, the number n, I use the numbers 0 through n minus 1 to represent all those numbers. So if I want to represent 15 modulo 7 and reduce that, I'm going to use the digits 0 through 6 to represent 15. So I count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1. 15 total digits represented using the digits 0 through 6, and so the answer is 1. 15 mod 7 is 1. So in the real world, we have ID numbers for all sorts of things, books, groceries, clothes, etc. But when these numbers are transmitted using a computer, there are often errors in their transmission. They're not transmitted correctly. And so in the real world, we use modular arithmetic in the form of check digits to ensure that transmission errors in ID numbers are caught and corrected. Take books, for example. You've probably seen on the back of every book is an international standard book number, or ISBN. And this number is used to identify the book and its publisher and various information about it. So a book's ISBN might be something like 04862806616. And so it's a sequence of 10 digits that represent that book. And we'll clarify that we're talking about ISBN 10s in this video because there is such a thing as an ISBN 13, um, which is a 13-digit ID number for books. So in an ISBN 10, these nine digits give information about the book and its publisher, etc. The last digit, the tenth digit, is its check digit. This final digit is found using modular arithmetic with all the other digits, and if it's not the digit that a computer expects based on the math involved with these first nine digits, then the computer knows that a transmission error has occurred. So let's say the digits in an ISBN 10 are A1 through A10, with A10 being our check digit. The scheme for deriving A10 is as follows. A1 plus 2 times A2 plus 3 times A3 plus 4A4 plus 5A5 and so on up through 10A10 is congruent to 0 modulo 11. So an ISBN 10 check digit is found by adding up the first nine digits in the ISBN, multiplying them by their place in the ISBN, so the second digit is multiplied by 2, and so on, and then solving for A sub 10, when you know the sum has to be congruent to 0 modulo 11. And, and this just means that it has to be divisible by 11. If something is congruent to 0 modulo a certain number, it's just divisible by that number. So if you take, for example, that ISBN 10 we used before, to get the check digit 6, you would do 0 plus 4 times 2 plus 8 times 3 plus 6 times 4 plus 2 times 5 plus 8 times 6 plus 0 times 7 plus 6 times 8 plus 1 times 9 and then plus the check digit, which we're looking for, times 10, is congruent to 0 modulo 11. So we'll see that that adds up to 171 plus 10 times a sub 10 is congruent to 0 modulo 11. And you'll find that 6 is the first digit when multiplied by 10 gives you a sum that is divisible by 11, or is congruent to 0 modulo 11. Thanks for watching! Please make sure to check out our next video where we prove that check digits detect certain types of errors. This has been a Bullis Student Tutor video. If you liked the video and found it helpful, please make sure to give it a like, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out all our other great tutoring videos on our YouTube page. Thank you.